Hi guys, this is Roma. This is Vanessa. And we're getting ready to race. So Roma, you and I have both uh, our hands full. Yeah. <laughs> with both a, a slick tire and a rim. Yep. And it looks quite heavy, but it's actually quite light because I could lift it with literally one finger. How heavy is it actually? Only the rim, 2.3 kilos. 2.3 kilos, yeah. so it's not that heavy. No. And what's the added weight of, of the actual tire? It will be two more kilos. So you get a whole set of five kilos because we have to add a sprocket and rear disc. Yeah, so now let's talk about tires. On that case, we have a slick tire that will be an M compound, which is what we are using on CAT. So for the cups, it's quite straightforward because you only have one compound yeah, as one. opposed to MotoGP. At least they have three. Soft, medium, hard. Yeah, and wet tire. Soft tire would be to do just trying to get the best or the optimum lap time. Then medium will be for race. It depends on the length. It depends on conditions as well. And then hard will be for the hottest conditions if you want. And you said the soft compound is a tire that doesn't last long. It, it will give you a lot of grip you will and have traction. A massive grip, but not long lasting. So you would advise people to buy mediums or hard. If it's compound. only for street use. Yes. Yeah, definitely. M tire will be the safe option. Great. So shall we go get the that tire on this rim and balance it? Let's have a look. Let's do it. So now we're going to be talking about the rim and the tire. Exactly. It all together gets into one piece, will be the wheel. And John, what we'll, we'll do is to fit the tire onto the rim. And you can see here yeah. around the tire, there's some kind of mix of soap and water, yeah. just to fit it easy. Even though it makes it easier, it's quite tough. In case it's too tough, a he's lever. Using, yeah, he's using a lever. And there he goes. Now, once the tire is placed, he'll put some pressure on in order to fit the tire on, on the rim, like okay. to expand it. And then later onwards, to we'll put the correct pressure. So, this is just to, to fit yeah, it? Just to fit it. Okay. <laughs> Great. The explosion means that the tire was fitted. Okay. Properly fitted. Now, we'll, how much pressure you will put in? Around 2.5 because normally it's more easy to take out air than to put in. Yeah, okay. So we'll put some extra air and then we will adjust it just by removing it. Once it's set, we have to align it. So not every single tire is exactly the same, so Juan now will align it. That means he will get a reference point to make sure that the tire is... Balanced? Yeah, it's fully balanced. In case it's not balanced, he will add some Weights. extra weight, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're normally made of iron? Uh, yeah, nowadays they're made of iron. Double check. How many weight you are adding now? Now we are doing 20 grams. The speed always going up. This means the heaviest weight is here. And what we want to do is that this side and this side yeah, are the same. Yeah. Are on the same level. Weight. So we add here now. It's too much. Too much. Okay. So maybe. So how many you will remove? Now we will do 15. Okay. Take out five. Almost there. It's still Nearly too heavy. Like only 10. Easy to it. It's perfectly balanced. Now both weights are on the same. Okay. And sometimes what we want to do is try in different points. You see, it moves, but 
Just very, lying. very little. Anyway, after the bike is rolling on the track, and this balance, it will be not always exactly, perfect. Exactly, yeah. To finish, to be saved, we will use a piece of duct tape. Just for safety reason, right? Yeah. Just to make sure that not, the weight does not get rid of the wheel. Due to the speed? Yeah. Okay, so now the wheel is balanced, so we're ready to mount it? Correct. And be ready to race? Ready. So Roma, for this final episode, we've covered the rims and the tires. Thank you so much for all of the insight you've given us. It was really, really awesome. It was a pleasure. Hope you guys enjoyed and that you learned something. And please let us know in the comments below what your favorite part of the whole series was. And see you next time. Bye.